Okay, so, very roughly, this is the CV joint with a bit of thread on the end of it. It's roughly 80mm across the outsides. This size here is, is irrelevant from this shoulder here to here. As you can tell, this isn't to scale. Um, that was about 200, 190, 200. It's reasonably irrelevant. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of bar across here, which is going to have to come out wider, with a hole here and a hole here. And we're going to clamp, we're going to make a clamp mechanism to go over this shaft, which is 21 millimetres. Don't you like that? That's almost ir illegible, but that's what we've got. So that's 21 millimetres. <coughs> so we can come up here. Then we're going to make something which slides over the spline, because this here is the spline. We'll make something that slides over here and comes up here so that we can put the nut on it and wind our nut down. And that there is going to have to come out and clamp onto or bolt onto our bits of flat bar which are parallel and not tapered that are up the sides. So that's what we're going to make. Let's go and find some materials. So you might remember this from uh, this piece of material here from those of you who have looked at my plasma cutter box unboxing because here's the end that we cut off not very well. Here's the other end that we cut off reasonably well. Um, so what we're going to do is, this is 230 long, that's 80, so that's roughly one CV joint in diameter. Yes, yeah, near enough to 80, it's not worth arguing over. So that'll give us enough room. What we'll do is we'll take, that'll give us enough room there, because we went up with a piece of flat bar up here, a piece of flat bar up there. Um, we'll put this on the other side. We'll drill a couple of holes through it. It's 25 mil. It's ridiculously robust for what we're doing. Um, we'll use this bit of 10 mil, I think it is. Looks like 10 mil. Yeah, we'll use this bit of 10 mil to halve that. That can become. Um, we won't even halve it, we'll end up with less than half of it. That'll become a, we'll get a couple hundred, two, two hundred mil sections out of that. Um, put some bolts, holes in here. <coughs> we'll make this shorter, because this only needs to be, really, it only needs to be 80 mil long, because it's only got, we've got a 21, half of a 21 millimetre diameter shaft to go in here. <coughs> And the other half is going to be in here. And then we're going to put a couple of true bolt holes that match in here. Um, and then we'll probably put a hole here, a hole here, a hole here, a hole here. So that'll give us the basics of our gizmo to do it with. Um, I picked this up, it's just a piece of scrap, I don't even know where I got that from. But we'll probably put that in there as a spacer uh, for when I do them. When I poke this hole through the centre, I should have got a twenty mil bit when I was uh, when I was up. I, I did get a twenty mil, didn't I? Yeah. I went and spent some money today. You're going to see what I spent it on. Um, all right. Uh, what I'll do off camera because you don't need to watch me do it is I'm going to cut these welds off. Um, with the angle grinder, um, yeah. on both of these, and uh, yeah, I'll be back after.
Okay, so we got to the point now. I decided to give it a quick rub, knock off the welds on that. And um, <coughs> while I was about it, I decided to knock off a bit of mill scale. Now, the um, this is a bit of a surprise because normally, all right, this ain't four inch, and this one's done a bit, but. Um, Oh, they'll pick up the four inch right. Uh, and plug it in. And we do something a bit like this. So we're tidying it up there with the flat wheel. Um, now, look, we're comparing it red apples with green apples. Alright? <coughs> That's a flat wheel. Put the other one in. This is an abrasive disc. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I was pretty sure I was getting scammed when the man sold these to me, but he was doing a pretty good job because he lighted me off a couple of hundred bucks at the same time. And in the moment, a couple of hundred bucks, actually it was more than a couple of hundred bucks, it was nearer 500 bucks. Um, he lighted me off for some of these abrasive discs and the backing pad and some low hydrogen rods and some, well, oh, I don't know, 74, some 74s, some 78s and some 6013s. And I'll have to go back and get some different 6013s as well. Because I've got some thin shit I made to weld. But um, anyway, get a load of the difference of this one. bother giving me too much grief about how I was holding the grinder and what I was doing because that was to show you how these cl this cleans up. Yes it is more aggressive these are 36 grip. These are a 3M uh, Cubitron 
3M Cubitron disc. Uh, coated with Brazer 5 of a disc and I suppose it's got Sprite, but you know. For a 36 grit disc, that's a pretty good finish. Um, and as you can see, I wasn't putting too much putting too much love into it. Um, here we've got some weld remnants on the end here and there. So we're going to cut them up. Uh, this one here is just milk and rust. So let's not this. Uh, let's not these uh, weld remnants. Plus it. So as you can see, it rips into that pretty quick. Now, that's not actually my old steel. Now that it's out of camera shot, here I am sitting on the bench. Now that it's back in camera shot, it's slightly better than my old steel. Normal mild steel is GT50, 250 MPa material. This here is square edge, which means it's dual grade. It's actually um, 350. Um, 250, 350 MPA, so um, 350 megapascal material. So it's a little bit harder, um, but yeah, as you can see, it ripped into that very quick, much quicker than a, uh, a grinding disc, and, and um, a lot better finish. So uh, yeah, we'll get on with doing other stuff now. All right, now we're getting to the point where we actually need to have some dimensions. So what we've, I want to say dark dimensions, we need to put a bit of a layout on it. So what I've done is we've got, got a bit of layout blue. <coughs> Giving it a brush with the layout blue. 
Um, I've shorted one of these blocks down, and when I can see what I'm doing, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look. Yeah, it's about 100 mil. We haven't got a square edge at this end, so what we'll do is we'll go for our. Put a mark in here. So we've got our 100 mil length there, and <coughs> we're going to come back 50 mil. Let's just see it. And pull that 50 mil. We now have a centre line. Now this should be 50 mil. It is. Now this is something that most people don't use, but for the purpose of the exercise, this is more than adequately accurate. If I use the right side, that is. Um, when you're trying to get a line that's on centre. and you don't need microns of accuracy or thousands of a millimetre as uh, there we go 50 mil so now what we can oh, I don't want 50, I want 25 goose So there we have 25 on the centre line. So for the purpose of what I'm doing there, I have a perfectly adequate centre line. Perfectly adequate centre line. Um, yeah, I oh know, it's not as accurate as having it on a surface plate, and it's not as accurate as having it on a, um, <coughs> um, going along with the, uh, height gauge and yada yada yada, but we're not dealing with sheep stations here, uh, where are we, we're two, they're a bit under two, oh, yeah, where are we, 228. Half of 228 or half of 230 is 115, so we want 114 as half of 228. So we'll go 114 is not enough there. That's a sackable offence. Somebody dropped the lolly, the lolly jar. Sackable offence. Um, okay. So, <coughs> we're going roughly 20 mil, so we'll say, we'll put a 20 mil and a zero in there, so we've just got a couple of reference points. Again, these, these are indicative, they don't need, or not that, they don't have to be precise because they're only reference. I think somewhere in the ballpark. There we go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in 15 mil. Actually, what I'll do is I'll come back 15 mil. And that should give me 70. This rule's annoying me because it is metric on one side and imperial numbers on the other. 
now what we'll do is we'll go across the 70 here so these spots don't have to be exactly on the money for the simple reason that we're um, They're just the, uh, let's try not to stuff it up numbers. So you want to go out 35. I really should have my other glasses on. Right, well, this is the, this side here is in half mil and then it goes up to one mil. And what I really want is I just want to clear one mil. Because <clears throat> when you're not working in uh, half mil increments, it becomes uh, distracting. So now we have our We have this goes with that. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have a little scallop out of this. And we're going to have a matching scallop out of that. So what we'll do is we'll mark it, put our 10 mil mark in here as well, just because we can. Um, zero, 20. Now you remember it's 21.6 was our magic numbers. There we go. <coughs> so what we'll do is put a line across. There. It's in the wall part. So we've got any blue left on this. Oh, it's still not completely dry. So we've got enough to work with. I we'll probably should have ran this down a bit more, but it doesn't matter. Because I think it might be a bit wet. I might inches blue. off a millimetre but it's uh, as I said it's not, we're not talking sheep stations here <coughs> so now what is going to happen we're going to poke we're going to drill through those so that they're on centre then we're going to space them and clamp them up and then we're going to drill through the centre here we'll put a hole in here um, which reminds me, we better put a couple of holes in the outside of here too, haven't we? So, we'll come in. Because that's 50 more flat bar we're using. Yep. Yep. So we'll come in 25. We'll come in 25. We'll take our piece of flat bar. We've got Mr. Noisy at work over there on the corner. <coughs> but at least he's having fun. And we're still recording, I think. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll just give it a little dab of this. Yeah, I know, I could take a blue... A blue Sharpie. Or a blue Blunty, depending on how you want to look at it. Here. 
So we now have need from other glasses. Alright, so there's our first reference points. No, we're not using that one. Not yet. He's all excited. We've got some new toys which you'll get to see later on, but we're not using them yet. Um, so we'll whack, oh, I suppose we're going to use M12s on this. So we'll whack a half inch hole through here, or 12.5, or half inch is 12.7. So it'll be 12 and a half, 13 mil. Again, again we uh, we might even do it as a 12 mil. Keep them pretty tight. Not that we need to. Um, we'll put a hole through here, hole through there, hole through here. Let's put a center pop in. Let's make that a bit tighter. And we'll put a center pop in there. <coughs> so. We need to put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to drill eight 12 millimeter holes, or they're about 12 millimeter clearance holes, so they'll be 12.5s. Um, you can turn the camera off, Mr. Cameraman, please.